are beginning a new adventure with our Pokemon White Randomized Tagline. Swag, what's in the bag? Jay here, bringing you guys some more My Hero Academia Smash Tab here on the channel. And today, we're gonna be talking about time limited events. Now, I know that this video is probably super, super, super late. Okay, it's super late because Smash Rising is around the corner, and we don't even know if time limited events are even gonna be a thing in Smash Rising. But either way, I just wanted to talk about, uh, you know, time limited events and whether or not they're actually worth the grind to 99 luck. Because I know a lot of you guys have either already started or just finished your grind uh, with the time limited events and time limited units, and you guys already know it is such a different grind than your standard EX event that goes on a weekly basis or whatever it, it's such a different grind and it's it's a, it's, a, it's more annoying if anything it's, it's very annoying because it's one of those things where you know drops aren't guaranteed and stuff like that it, it's just it's it's just an annoying tedious grind but at the end of the day when you finish that grind you you have a super powerful 99 luckily that you can take to almost any event and do well with you know well shigaraki of course i mean i'm not saying you could take aizawa anywhere or no anywhere but you can definitely take shigaraki to almost any event that's not green and do pretty well with him because his damage output is really good but like I said in this video I'm just gonna talk about you know my experience with time limit events and whether or not they're actually worth the grind but I hope you guys do enjoy this video if you guys do do not forget to Detroit smash that like button down below to show your support in the video description below be sure to check out the smash tab discord and Twitter especially the discord so you can stay up to date with the game so you guys know when rising drops and so you guys know when the time limit events do happen and so you can get help with those events and everything like that also in the comments below let me know if you started your grind for time limited you know shigaraki nomu aizawa let me know if you 99 any of them and how are you liking them how are you not liking their events and all that good stuff and if you're new around here you like smash tap and other gotcha games consider hitting that subscribe button down below and ring the bell so you don't miss another upload here on the channel but without further ado let's go ahead and talk about time limited events you guys so i'm basically going to showcase two of them um in this video because well i mean these these two are the best ones being you know shigaraki and aizawa i'm gonna use aizawa as my actual 99 luckily and then i'm gonna use shigaraki as my damage dealer because he deals a lot of damage so uh let's go ahead and let's just jump into an event let's just jump into a 30 stamina grand torino and just see what we can do there so you guys already know that time limited is so so different than your standard ex event right so ex events last for about a week um they last for about a week uh you take your 99 luck lead and you know everyone else has their 99 uh, 99 luck leads and by the end of the run you're able to get at least a good two to three maybe even four drops if you're lucky you get like five or six drops um you know and there's different stamina so then there's dif different difficulties and everything like that as well so you're pretty much good there and again you can get multiple drops so you do one run and you get four drops and you're you're pretty much good it only takes a couple of hours to actually grind a unit to 99 when it's a standard ex event time limited events however are a lot more annoying and tedious because of a lot of factors really so one 99 luck leads don't work okay 99 luck leads don't work at all so you can you can bring a 99 luck lead if you want but you're not gonna get a luck drop whatsoever okay you're not gonna get a drop uh from your 99 luck lead as you would with the ex event or a gummy run or anything like that you just don't okay so there's that two time limited events they only have one stamina their stamina is the stamina cost is really low but even though the stamina cost is really low the difficulty is actually really high now i can't really say that for aizawa or nomu because power creep was really not kind to them like at all um so when it comes to uh time limited aizawa and nomu they are actually relatively easy all you got to do is just nuke them for a lot of damage and you're good now shigaraki however is difficult because first of all shigaraki's unit is very 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 good he does uh more damage against every unit that's not a green unit and then not only that but when you're fighting shigaraki you have to fight shigaraki 
and you have to fight Kurigiri as well. And then when you fight them or when you fight any time limit event, um, if you do get if you get hit by a an enemy, you have a chance to be randomly statused. Uh, you know, you can have roll lock, attack lock, defense down, things like that. Basically, something that will screw you up for sure. And I'm telling you, if you ever get roll locked and you're fighting Shigaraki and Shigaraki clicks his special, consider your unit dead. No matter what it is, consider it dead because his damage output is ridiculous. So a uh, low stamina cost for the uh, for the event itself, but it's uh, uh, even though it's a low stamina cost, the difficulty is really high though. So there's that. Um, when it comes to actually getting drops from your t from the time limited event, the drops themselves aren't even guaranteed. So first of all, you get you can get a stage drop, right? You can get a stage drop, and if you're a host, you can get a clear reward. Now, with that being said neither of them are guaranteed so you can go in and you can have the toughest time ever with the event and you can not get a single drop from the event all right and i've had that happen to me a lot okay especially when you're using a um a hero soul as well and you, <laughs> you use a hero soul and you you end up not getting a drop anyway that sucks a lot believe me it sucks so much when you actually burn a hero soul and you don't get any kind of drop uh from the event it i, I hate it i hate it i hate it and it's happened so many times okay so there's that uh so the drops aren't guaranteed um and not only that but they're time limited so they are they're only available on the weekend uh three times a day and uh they're they're available three times a day only for an hour so because they're only available for an hour you have an hour to basically grind and try to get as many drops as you can right and the thing is is like the drops themselves aren't guaranteed the clear rewards aren't guaranteed the drops aren't guaranteed either so it's it's one of those things where it's like you're you're, you're spending an hour to do all of this for i mean for a busted unit though like that's the thing though like so it it, it it sucks <laughs> it sucks i hated the grind for it i hated it because i had to get up at like 9 a.m i never get up at 9 a.m i had to get up at 9 a.m on like saturday and sunday so i could farm right so i can get to the 9 9 luck because like it, it, it was one of those things where it's like i couldn't be there during every single session so i had to get up at times where i normally wouldn't get up so i could do the grind and you know sometimes i'll walk away with six drops other times i'll walk away with 10 drops and it's just it sucked it sucked so much i tell you i hate i hated the grind i absolutely could not stand the grind for like shigaraki um i mean honestly i will say that aizawa and nomu were a lot kinder to me because those events happened uh, or those runs were a lot faster than Shigaraki because Shigaraki runs um, They took up a bit of time because they were so difficult, but Aizawa and Nomu runs didn't really take as much time because When it came to them You just nuke him and you're good, but Shigaraki you can't just nuke him because you got to nuke him and Kurigiri and so it, it was just it was just ridiculous, but Was it worth it? was it worth the grind was it worth the pain and the struggle of getting up at 9 a.m to to farm these guys was it worth it honestly i mean honestly with rising around the corner it's hard to say but you know as far as smash tap itself goes i say it's worth it i say it was totally worth it shigaraki amazing luckily okay first of all he hits just as hard if not harder than a smash fest unit okay so you already got a stupid dumb crazy strong luckily right there right and then if you're running a triple deku notebook oh you're hitting for a lot of damage a lot of damage okay so that's he's really good there um nomu and aizawa are really good at crowd control and self uh, sustaining as well like as you guys can see i'm literally just sitting here just tapping my screen with aizawa i'm not even really trying to really do much of anything like they're attacking me and everything but 
it's not even doing much because I, I have life steal. I, I'm st I'm at full HP. I'm at full I'm at, I'm at full HP. Okay, I'm not at full HP anymore. But you know these units are really really good. They're really good because uh, you know Nomu and Aizawa have life steal, uh, and then uh, Shigaraki just does way too much damage. So I would say yeah, the grind for them was definitely worth it. Uh, just because now I have luck leads that can either sustain or just deal so much damage and so it's it's like when I run Shigaraki it's like I'm running two smash fest units right and that's crazy because smash fest units are broken most of the time um or let me not say most of the time but the ones that are like really hard hitters they they are really good so having a, a luck lead that hits just as hard as that and they hit every other they hit like pretty much almost every attribute for uh increased damage super good super super good super amazing okay now when i first started like the grind i was like honestly i don't even want to do this grind i want to farm one and then just call it a day but then i was like you know what shigaraki came out and this shigaraki is really really good I'm gonna farm him to 99 luck. I'm gonna make it a mission to farm him to 99 luck. And I did. I made it a mission to farm him to 99. I would get up very, very early in the morning uh, on the weekends to grind him to 99. And it was it was totally worth. It was totally worth because it's like I don't even have to worry about what luck lead to bring. I just bring Shigaraki and just end everything, right? That's <laughs> that's all I need to do. And that's exactly what I do. I just bring him. And I bring uh, like uh, my All Might or something, or just or Bakugo or Deku, uh, someone that hits really really hard, and then just destroy everybody. That's that's pretty much uh, how it goes. And I just got my Aizawa burn, but honestly, burn on this Aizawa doesn't matter because I'm gonna get all this HP back anyway. Let's do it. But time limited events, it was it was worth it. I will say, however. Um, I really wish that the drops were guaranteed. I feel like if I feel like if the drops were guaranteed, time limited would be so much better for other people, right? You know, because I whale in this game, so whales are fine. But if you're like free to play, free to being free to play in this game, it's it's rough. It is a oh my gosh, really all really all might being free to play in this game is a huge okay okay i i sat there and i, I took those I, I took those hits i don't know why i did that but it's whatever all right let's get it stay in place dude thank you but like yeah you see that we just took out i uh we took out all might in two specials with uh, this uh shigaraki if i had if i had notebooks i could probably do it in one maybe i don't know i have no idea but um but yeah no like uh, the grind was worth it, but I feel like time limited would be so much better if uh, the drops were guaranteed. If the drops were guaranteed, uh, to where you could, uh, to where you could, oof, um, get a drop every single run you do, then yeah, no, time limited would be so so much more bearable and be it'll be so much better. But unfortunately, that's not how it works but I don't, I don't know i don't know what they plan on doing with time limit events and smash rising but i will say that <laughs> i have this 99 uh aizawa and 99 shigaraki and they come through okay they really come through especially shigaraki because he just hits so hard like they i mean he's free to play he's a free to play unit that hits as hard as a smash fest unit and with the right gadgets he can hit even harder that's just ridiculous. That's just that's insane. That is that's that's insane. That is insane. Free to play, okay? Free to play. Granted, you might have to wail a little bit for some Smash Fest units that can take him on, like you know the green All Might or the green uh, Deku or whatever. Like, sure, yeah, but he's still more or less free to play. I mean, if you if you have a nice reroll account farm this guy to 99 i don't know i don't know how long they plan on keeping these time limited around i don't know if they're going to be around in smash rising but i mean as long as smash type is still a thing for right now i would try to grind this dude at least to 99 luck because he is really really good but that's basically my rant on time limit events 
um, in my experience with time limited uh, units and grinding them to 99 uh, it sucked grinding the grind sucked so very much because I had to get up early in the morning but at the end of the day I have a really strong 99 luck lead so you know there it is now granted within like maybe six months to a year I feel like he'll probably be outdated but at least at least for now he's super good but let me know your experience with time limited units and stuff down in the comments below. Don't forget to check out the Discord and Twitter in the video description below uh, and all that good stuff. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to your choice. Smash that like button down below to show your support. And if you're new around here, you like Smash Tap and other gacha games, consider hitting that subscribe button down below and ringing the bell so you don't miss another upload here on the channel. But with that, I am out. Thank you guys for watching, and I wish you guys the best of luck in your time limited runs. Peace.